Welcome back. It's been a long year since we had our last long form recipe on YouTube. I'm glad we are back with many more recipes for your greatest pleasure. Today we are doing a dish that is quite simple but requested a lot, the beef bourguignon. I will serve it with a pomme puree and I'm gonna add one twist. But I'm not telling you just yet what that is, you'll have to stick around to see what it is. Let's get cooking. Yeah. First thing first, make sure that the mise en place is done. We're gonna prep everything before we start cooking. Let's go. And we're gonna start by grabbing our beef cubes. You could obviously do it yourself or buy pre cubes. And we're gonna season them heavily on both sides with salt and pepper. I'm gonna put it aside and let it cure while we work on the bacon. I wanted to try something new. So instead of the regular de beau smoked bacon, this time I use pancetta. I know it's a bit different, but a little cured and pepperiness, I feel it's gonna be great. We'll make beautiful lardons or allumettes and set it aside. We'll then grab our carrots, we're gonna peel them and remove the tops, and we're gonna dice them into large chunks. Doesn't really matter how big or how small, but make sure they are all the same size so they cook evenly. Once we've done so, we're gonna set them aside for later. I'm also gonna use some pearl onion, you could use white, I could only find purple at the store. I'll then grab my mushrooms, I'm using creaminis, but you could use white button, and we're gonna core them and set them aside as well. Next up, we'll grab some fresh garlic, which we're gonna peel and smash. You could dice it, but personally, I like to be able to remove the garlic, because, you know, heartburn and stuff, we don't want that, but we love the flavor. And we'll set it aside with the thyme and rosemary. We've organized ourselves nicely, we can start the cooking process. In a Dutch oven or a large pot, we're gonna add some olive oil, heat it up, and we're gonna add our cube of beef. Make sure we work in batches so we don't overcrowd the meat. When we have a nice golden brown color, we're gonna remove them, put them on a tray, on a rack, and we're gonna repeat the process until they're all done. Once we've done so, I'm gonna add some butter into a pot, making sure we keep all those beautiful fonts, and we're gonna remove them so we have no flavor. In the pot, I will then add my beautiful lardons as well as my pearl onion and we're gonna caramelize them until they have a beautiful color. Once nice and caramelized, we're gonna take them off the pot and we're gonna place them on a tray for later when we'll add them. We'll then return to the wok or to the pot and we'll then add our carrots, making sure we caramelize them in the same fat. We'll then return the beef and we're gonna give that a nice stir and let it cook for about a minute or two. Once we've done so, we're gonna add a bit of flour. It's called singe in French. One thing we wanna make sure is we cook that flour so that raw taste actually disappear. Once everything is incorporated, we'll add a red wine, obviously burgundy, this is what's called beef bourguignon, and we'll give it a stir until everything is mixed in. It's gonna start thicken up. You can actually turn the heat a little bit lower. We'll then add back our bacon and our pearl onions, and we're gonna give that another stir. See how yummy it already looks? I'm gonna add my herbs, thyme, garlic, bay leaves, and rosemary. This is my choice of herbs. Obviously, you could do as little or as much as you want. Then we are gonna mouillé, what we call it in French, which means that we're gonna add the beef stock all the way to the top, but no more than this. We'll give it a stir, and we are going to let it come to a simmer. Not a boil, just a beautiful simmer. Now we're going to cook the beef for about two hours before we add the mushrooms. Make sure it cooks really slow, really gently. After two hours, we're going to check on those two, and you can see it's bubbling slightly, but just simmering away, no boiling. Then we'll add our quarter mushroom and give that a stir and return to the pan for another two hours. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some parsley and make a chiffonade. It's gonna have a beautiful flavor hairbrushes to it. It's been now four hours total, and you can see the consistency has changed drastically. It's much thicker. Obviously, the beef is cooked, so we're gonna remove and discard the herbs and garlic. All right, we are almost ready. I turned the heat off, but we're gonna add one special ingredient that is a bit of a secret, and that is chocolate. Yes, dark chocolate. It's going to add a velvety, smooth texture to the bourguignon and a robust taste that's gonna go perfect. You're gonna see a huge difference in the taste, trust me. Okay, we are now ready to start plating. I have some pomme puree right here. If you're interested to know how to make the perfect 
pump puree, please let me know down in the comment and I will do a video on it. We also have our fresh chopped parsley. Our bourguignon is ready, so let's plate. Time to ladle bourguignon over the mash, making sure we have lots of that delicious juice and we're gonna top it up with some fresh chiffonade of parsley. And there we are, the classic French bourguignon with the pomme puree, but with a twist with the addition of dark chocolate. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm glad we're back and I get to try more delicious food. So I will see you in the next episode.